obviously both of us uh both of us um being um being black men being men of color you know our community oftentimes is also concerned about thinking hey you know i don't think i can get in that industry because are they accepting black people or them looking at their their skin whether they're black or brown them looking at their their skin as something that'll keep them from being in the industry mm. but me being in here my vantage point i'm like no like i actually think there are a lot of pros to to being a person of color in this industry and i know that that's something that that you're aware of as well and again you're better situated to understand those pros so as a as a technical recruiter and as someone who's been in this industry much longer than i have what would you say are some of the pros of being a person of color in in tech right so so we all know right G growing up black right it's not easy right yeah. so when when it comes to the tech part of things right what big tech is doing is really acknowledging uh the previous struggles that we went through and we're really setting out to find you right as you know linkedin is a powerful tool right yeah. you let them know what you do we're going to find you so one of the benefits of being a minority right so not just black but a woman uh you know, any any minority right is we're going to find you and we're going to really try our hardest to prepare you the best way that we possibly can um all you have to do is you know you know get your degree right show us yeah. that you have interest we will find you that's without a doubt okay uh, that sounds kind of crazy but mm -hmm. we are really looking for that quality talent every day right so uh being a minority in that aspect right you would definitely get the shot yeah um uh, and again it's not like we're just just giving it out to we're them. not it's not that we're just giving it out right but as a minority right i want to find you i want you to see this opportunity i want you to go through the process pass or fail so you can know what's out there mm -hmm. and if you do fail take this in take a year or two get your mind together collect your thoughts and let's try it again right yeah. because it's here for you right yeah. not not just everybody else yeah i love that so you saying one of the, you just uh, mentioned how you will be able to find people like what are some ways that technical recruiters like, how do you find people of color on LinkedIn? LinkedIn is not the only tool, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but you do have uh, different methods of, of searching for minorities on LinkedIn, right? I don't necessarily want to go too deep into it, yeah. but as a recruiter, right, you, you just have your own strategy. So I also use Twitter um, mm -hmm. to find minorities, um, different hashtags. Uh, yeah. When Clubhouse was yeah. a thing, I get on Clubhouse and just kind of listen in on conversations. So you mentioned hashtags. Um, you mentioned hashtags. Yeah. So I talked to people about this before, but I don't know necessarily how potent it is. So let's say, like, what are some hashtags you think people might should consider using on LinkedIn or on Twitter that maybe can make basically make it uh, it easier for a recruiter to find them? Open to work, right? Open to work. Software engineer. Um, if you're not like a gener generalist software engineer, right? Tag your discipline, right? Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, it's like Python or not necessarily like a coding, coding language, language yeah. but you can do the coding language. But uh, I mean, embedded engineer. Hashtag mm -hmm. embedded. Hashtag uh, Android. Hashtag iOS. Yeah. Right? Help me find you because I'm looking for you. And a lot, a lot of the sourcing is unorthodox. Yeah. But that's how you find people, right? Because mm -hmm. Everybody's reaching out for the same people and they're using like the same sourcing strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, so anything that you could do to help me find you, uh, it, it works. Also, uh, HBCU grads, list your college, right? Mm -hmm. I'm searching HBCUs. I'm searching all women institutions. Yeah. Um, fraternities and sororities. I'm looking for it. Yeah. Right. That's all a part of my search. Um, so these things can really help you uh, be noticed. And they actually work, right? It's yeah. not just me talking. This is really what people who take this job seriously do. Right? Yeah. So is it, so obviously you're a, a senior technical recruiter. Mm -hmm. uh, is it pretty similar for, let's say there are recruiters that hire for product um, product teams or there's recruiters that hire for tech sales. Is mm -hmm. it a pretty s somewhat similar process with them where they might search through certain tech sales hashtags or certain product uh, type of hashtags? Yeah, so I'm not an expert, so I don't I don't want to speak on what I don't know. Yeah. But my opinion is it would be of your best interest to put what you do out there, yeah. right? If you're looking to work, if you're open to work, right? That's a big hashtag to use. Put it on your LinkedIn page. I'm open to work. It's okay. Like your job can't fire you for that. Okay, they they can't. Um, 
So so just put it out there. Any hashtag that you could think of, whether you're uh, in technical sales, uh, cybersecurity, whatever the case may be, put your skills, put your interests out, and we'll come and find you for sure. Yeah. That's good, man. I thank you so much uh, for sharing that. That's super um, important because I've seen some people that are on LinkedIn mm -hmm. and either one, they don't have that open to work or they're, yeah, they're, they're very focused on applying to companies and reaching out to reaching out to the recruiters. But it's like, man, you know, you can also help them find you by posting content, but you kind of doubling down and mentioning like the hashtags and yeah. different hashtags to mention, like that's that's incredibly valuable. Yeah, get current, right? Um, get current, right? So don't if you're like uh I'm not into social media, I'm not into these internet platforms, right? Then just tell me you don't want a job. Tell me you don't want to make no money. Yeah. Uh, because that's just where we are, right? Yeah. So uh regardless of what you feel, right, you have to adapt to the world. And right yeah, now, it's a tech world, right? Yeah. So if you want to work at a tech company and you're not using the technology, it may be a little difficult to break in.